Hello, welcome to you from Maharishi Markandeshwar University, Mullana Ambala. I am Engineer Rahul Bhatt, Assistant Professor, Department of Agriculture. Today, we'll be learning about greenhouses and its type. So first of all, we'll discuss what is greenhouse. So basically, greenhouse is an inflated or frame structure covered with the transparent or translucent material in which crops could be grown under the conditions of the least partially controlled environment and which is large enough to permit cultural or intercultural operations. Next, we'll see the types of greenhouses. The greenhouse structure of various types are used successfully for crop production. Although there are advantages in each type of particular application, in general, there is no single greenhouse which can be considered as the best. Different type of greenhouses are designed to meet the specific needs. Greenhouses can be classified on the basis of their shape or style or cross-section. For the purpose of classification, the uniqueness of the cross-section of the greenhouses can be considered as a factor. As the longitudinal section tends to be approximately same at the, for all the type of greenhouses, the longitudinal section of the greenhouse cannot be used for the classification. Now we'll see the greenhouse classification. First of all, the classification based on type of shape. There are six type of greenhouses which are classified according to their shapes. The first one is lean-to type greenhouse. Second one is even span type greenhouse. Next, there is uneven span type greenhouse. Next, there is ridge and furrow type greenhouse. Then saw tooth type greenhouse and the last one is concept type greenhouse. The first type which is lean to type greenhouse. As you can see here in these images, this greenhouse is constructed on the side wall of existing infrastructure or the building. A lean to design is used when the greenhouse is placed against the side of existing building. It is built against a building using the existing structure for one or more of its sites. It is usually attached to a house but may be attached to any other building or infrastructure. The roof of the building is extended with appropriate greenhouse covering material and the area is properly closed. As you can see here in this image, this is the cross section of lean to type greenhouse. It is typically facing south side. The lean to type greenhouse is limited to single or double row plant benches with total width of 7 to 12 feet. It can be as long as the building it is attached to. It should face the best direction for adequate sun exposure. Mostly these are oriented toward the so south side for maximum exposure to the solar radiations. Then we'll discuss about advantages of lean to type greenhouse. The advantages of lean to type greenhouse is that it is usually close to available electricity, water and heat. As we have already discussed, this type of greenhouses are built against the existing infrastructure or building. So there is advantage of availability of electricity, water and heat as per requirement. It is a least expensive structure. The design makes the best use of sunlight and minimizes the requirement of roof supports. Now we'll discuss about the disadvantage of this type of design. It offers the limited space, limited light, limited ventilation and limited temperature control. The height of the supporting wall limits the potential size of the design. The temperature control is more difficult because the wall that the greenhouse is built on may collect the sun's heat while the translucent cover of the greenhouse may lose heat rapidly. It is half greenhouse split along the peak of the roof. Next, we'll discuss the even span type greenhouse. Why it is called even span type greenhouse? As you can see here in the images, the span of this type of greenhouse is equal on its both side. The even span is a standard type 
and full size structure, the two roof slopes are of equal pitch and of equal width. This design is used for the greenhouse of small size and it is constructed on the level ground. It is attached to the house at one gable end. It can accommodate two or three rows of plant benches. The cost of an even span greenhouse is more than the cost of lean to type greenhouse, but it has greater flexibility in the design and provides for more plants. Because of its size and greater amount of exposed glass area, the even span will cost more to the heat. The design has a better shape than a lean to type for air circulation to maintain uniform temperatures during the winter heating seasons. A separate heating system is necessary unless the structure is very close to the heated building. It will house two sides of benches, two walks and a wide center bench. Several single and multiple span types are available for use in various regions of India. For single span type, the span in general varies from 5 to 9 meter, whereas the length is around 24 meter and the height varies from 2.5 to 4.3 meter. Next, we will see about uneven span type greenhouse. Why it is called uneven span type greenhouse? Because as you can see here in this image, the span width is uneven or unequal on its both sides. This type of greenhouse is constructed on the hilly terrain. As you can see here, this is the slope of the uh, land on which the uh, greenhouse is constructed. The uneven span is provided for distribution of its width. The groups are of an unequal width make the structure adaptable to the side slopes of the hill. This type of greenhouse is seldom used nowadays as it, it is not adaptable for the automation. Next we will see ridge and furrow type greenhouse. Design of this type of greenhouse use two or more A-frame greenhouse connected to one another along the length of the eave. As you can see here, this is multi-stage even span type greenhouse. Why I am calling it, it as a multi-stage? Because the uh, even span type greenhouses are connected to each other along their eave and the middle or side wall of these greenhouses are eliminated or removed. The eave serve as the furrow or gutter to carry the rain and melted snow away. The side wall is eliminated because the greenhouses which results in a structure with a single large interior. Consoli consolidation of interior space reduces the labor, lowers the cost of aut automation, improves the personal management and reduces the fuel consumption as there is less exposed wall area through which heat escapes. The snow loss loads must be taken into the frame specification of these greenhouses since the snow cannot slide off the roofs as in case of individual freestanding greenhouses but it melts away. In spite of snow loads, ridge and furrow greenhouses are effectively used in northern countries of Europe and in Canada and are well suited to the Indian conditions. Next, we will learn about sawtooth type greenhouse. This is called sawtooth type greenhouse because as you can see here in the cross section of, the, of this type of greenhouses, the structure is like sawtooth. These are also similar to ridge and furrow type greenhouses except that there is provision for natural ventilation in this type. Specific natural ventilation flow path develops in the sawtooth type greenhouses. As you can see here in the second image, the heated air, when the air inside the greenhouse get heated, obviously its density will be decreased. So it will try to escape from the top ventilators. Then we will see about Quonset greenhouse. This is the greenhouse where a pipe arcade or trusses are supported by pipe purling running around the length of the greenhouse. In general, 
the covering material used for this type of greenhouse is polyethylene. Such greenhouses are typically less expensive than the gutter connected greenhouses and useful when a small isolated cultural area is required. These greenhouses are connected either in free standing style or arranged in an interlocking ridge and furrow. A single large cultural space does exist for a set of houses in this type, an arrangement that is better adapted to the automation and movement of labor. Then we will see the classification based on type of utility. The first classification is houses or greenhouses for active heating, second one is greenhouses for active cooling. We will now discuss about greenhouses for active heating. During the night time, air temperature inside the greenhouses decreases. To avoid the cold bite to the plant due to the freezing, some amount of heat has to be supplied. The requirement for heating greenhouses depend on the rate at which the heat is lost to the outside environment. Various methods are adopted and developed to reduce the heat losses, namely using double layer polyethylene, thermopane glasses, then use of heating system such as unit heater, central heat system, radiant heat and solar heating system. Next we will see greenhouses for active cooling. During the summer season it is desirable to reduce the temperature of greenhouse than the ambient temperature for effective crop growth. Hence the suitable modifications are made in the greenhouse so that the large volume of cooled air is drawn into the greenhouse. This type of greenhouses either consist of evaporative cooling pad or fog cooling system. This greenhouses is designed in a such a way that it permits the roof opening of 40 percent and in some cases nearly 100 percent. This is evaporative cooling pad which is used in fan and pad cooling system. Greenhouse type based on its construction. This is the third classification. Based on this type there are three classification or three type of greenhouses. The first one is wooden frame greenhouses, then pipe frame greenhouses, then stress frame greenhouses. The first one is when there is pan length is less than 6 meter, the wooden frame structures are used for the construction of greenhouses. In general, for the greenhouses with the span length less than 6 meter, only wooden frame structures are used. Side posts and the columns are constructed of wood without the use of truss. Pine wood is commonly used as it is inexpensive and possesses the required strength. Timber locally available with good strength, durability and machinability also can be used for the construction. Then second we will see about pipe, pipe frame structure. Pipe frame structures are used when there is span length around 12 meter. Pipe are used for the construction of greenhouses when the clear span is around 12 meter. In general the side post, column, cross ties, purlins are constructed using the pipes. In this type the trusses are not used. Then we will see the truss frame structure. When the span length is about 15 meter, then stress frame structures are used for greater stability of the structure. If the greenhouse span is greater than or equal to 15 meter, stress frames are used. Flat steel, tubular steel or angular iron is welded together to form a stress encompassing rafter, cords and struts. Struts are support member under the compression and cords are the support members under the tension. Angle iron purlin running throughout the length of greenhouse are bolted to each truss. Then we will see the classification based on the covering material. First classification is glass greenhouse, the second one is plastic film greenhouse and the last one is rigid panel greenhouses. First we will see the glass greenhouse. Only glass greenhouse with the glass as the covering material existing prior 1950s. Nowadays glass greenhouse are not commercially available. Glass are covering material 
has the advantage of greater light intensity. These greenhouses have higher air infiltration rate which leads to the lower interior humidity and better disease prevention. Lean to type, even span type, ridge and furrow type of designs are used for the construction of glass greenhouse. Next, we will see about plastic film greenhouses. Flexible plastic films including polyethylene, polyester and polyvinyl chloride are used as a covering material in this type of greenhouses. Plastic as a covering material for greenhouses have become popular as they are cheap and the cost of heating is less when compared to glass greenhouses. The main disadvantage with plastic film is its short life. For example, the best quality ultraviolet stabilized film can last for 4 years only. Concept design as well as gutter connected design is suitable for using this covering material. And the last one is rigid panel greenhouse. Polyvinyl chloride rigid panels, fiberglass reinforced plastic, acrylic and polycarbonate rigid panels are employed as the covering material in the concept type frames or ridge and furrow type frame. This material is more resistant to the breakage and the light intensity is uniform throughout the greenhouse when compared to glass or plastic. High grade panels have long life even up to 20 years. The main disadvantage is that this panel tends to collect dust as well as harbor algae which result in darkening of the panel and subsequent reduction in the light transmission. There is significant danger of fire hazard also. And the last one is shading net. There are great number of types and varieties of plant that grow naturally in most diverse climate conditions that have been transferred by modern agriculture from their natural habitats to control crop conditions. Therefore, conditions similar to the natural ones must be created for each type and variety of plant. Each type of cultivated plant must be given the specific type of shade required for the diverse phases of its development. The shading nets fulfill the task of giving appropriate microclimatic conditions to the plants. Shade netting are designed to protect the crops and plants from the UV radiation, but they also provide the protection from the climate condition or harsh climate conditions such as temperature variation, intensive rain and winds. Better growth condition can be achieved for the crop due to the controlled microclimate condition created in the covered area with shade netting which result in higher crop yields. A wide range of shading nets are available in the market which are defined on the basis of percentage of shade they deliver to the plant growing under them. So that's all for today. See you next time. Till then keep learning, keep growing.